Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Oh, wait, am I recording? I'm rec Steven! Oh, never mind. Never mind, Steven. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we are going to be recording tonight. And I have an idea. Um, well, it's not really an idea. It's a thing that I want to do. So last year, I kind of missed out on some of the presents because I kind of didn't buy enough. Um, so this year I am just going to purchase, purchase, purchase. So, um, if you see a couple of these videos, it might just be me purchasing a ton of, uh, presents, but that's, that's what we're going to do tonight. I'm just basically going to be purchasing a bunch of presents, throwing them in a truck, showing you how symmetrical they look. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it. So I'm going to fill this truck. That's. That's the name of the game. It's going to be Oprah's fill the, the truck full of gifts for the the codes of the world. Hold on, let me get that just a little bit. There we go. And uh, just so you know, yes, I am tired. I'm 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 feeling okay. Uh, we've had the coughs and sniffles and all that stuff, but it's really just felt like a bad cold. So thank you everyone for all your well wishes and all the prayers and everything that you get. Oh gosh. Everything you guys have been sending us, we really do appreciate it. Um, we've had a lot of people offer to like go and buy us groceries and stuff. And I'm like, we order online and do like Walmart pickup, so there's no contact. We're we're okay, we're good. Um, also, I noticed the number. So, the the price of the present. I did this last time whenever I saw there was an odd number off, with the um, with the um. The ostrich eye, aka the lumber eyeball, and if you'll notice, it's three two zero eight nine. Three two zero eight nine. So I started looking that up. Three two zero eight nine has got to be a reference to something, right? And I usually put some kind of significance on numbers. So three two zero eight nine. Whenever I do an, an, a Google search for it, it is a zip code in uh, Philadelphia, I think. Oh no. Yeah, is Pennsylvania. Uh, it's also an area code in California in on Zillow, uh, Zillow, Zillow, which is a, a housing place. Um, it's also part 32089 in Lego Tech Trade. It's a sprocket wheel. So that could possibly be something with Legos. Um, the other thing was it was, let's see. There's a realtor.com with Oakdale Road in Stover. I, I looked at the place. It doesn't have any significance, but it's that's in Missouri. Um, what was the other thing? There was a federal registry. Oh, if you do 32.089, then there is a, um, what is it? It is an appeals. For the American Publishing uh, American Legal Publishing Corporation, and that says thirty-two point zero eight nine in appeals, an aggravated party, uh, wait, aggravated, aggravated party may take an appeal from the actions of the Historical Prevention Commission to the Zoning Board of Adjustment whether the application was provided or denied the appeal shall be taken within 20 calendar days after the decision of the commission and shall be in the nature of something like that anyhow that order was passed but I, I don't understand there, there could be some significance. I don't know. If you guys have any idea of what 32089 could possibly be. Oh, what if we were to convert it over to letters? A, B, C. Well, zero would have to be O, right? So, uh, zero, one, two, three, A, B, C, D. That'd be a D. A, B, C, C. No, that doesn't work. That'd be B, C to start off. B, C, A. Hmm. So, I don't know. There's... It just looks like an odd number, and I thought there might be some significance to it. Could that be a longitude latitude? 3289! Separated by an O? Who knows? There could be significance to it. There could there could be nothing. It could just be all by itself. But, you know. Um, it looks like the significance of the number 42. Uh, and anybody that got that reference, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. 
Uh, oh, 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 I don't need to buy it twice. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm being dumb tonight. Dum 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 dum. Um, something that I also thought of, uh, oh, something I noticed inside, uh, the book Ready Player Two was, um, the significance of the Got Ginny's number. 8675309. That's the password, right? And that should be very significant because that's part of a, a, uh, a song lyric. And of course, every gunter and every person should know pi. 3.14159265358979323846264338327950288. And of course, we got the number seven, which is the seven shards of the siren soul. And there's supposed to be seven shards. You have to collect the six and then bring the, uh, all six to the last final place of the, the siren. Anyhow, I don't want to give away too much of the book. Sorry if that's giving you some spoilers, um, but it's pretty much, it's it's good. It's really good. You gotta watch, or not watch, you have to read the book to uh, get a full understanding. Oh, excuse me. And if you've watched the movie Ready Player One, but you have not read the book, then you do not know Ready Player One. I'm sorry. There's just no possible way Steven Spielberg could have gotten all of that awesomeness from the book inside the uh, inside the movie. And that's what he said. He said he changed a lot of the references to appeal to a younger audiences. But at the same time, I'm like, you're kind of missing the point of, of getting the audience to relate to the 80s. Like... Yeah, I understand the 80s pop culture references and stuff like that, but there's some stuff on there that I needed to go look up, and it brought back so many memories, so many memories. Do you guys remember glow worms? Like, uh, the, the little, they were little things that you'd go to sleep with, kind of like a teddy bear, but their faces would light up when you squeezed them. They were called glow worms. Oh, you kids don't know, no, you kids don't know about my history. And then we had Light Bright. Oh, well, Light Bright was pretty cool. Not Sabrina Bright, all right. Although their channel's pretty cool too. Her and DJ do a great job. And I'm so proud of them for being inside uh, the Roblox battles. Which, by the way, this is their swords. I forgot. Um, I was partying with them back in like 2015. And people are like, who's Code Primate? I'm like, that's, a, that's me. I'm, it's, never mind. Uh, I, I've been getting that a lot lately. Um, like whenever I'm going into the, doing the, the swords and the, the different runs and stuff like that, I've got a lot of people saying, who's Code Primate? I'm like, have I really been like out of the, the spotlight so long? Have I fallen so far from, from the public domain, from people's eyes that they don't know who the Code Primate is? And what's funny is, it, it, this was actually really hilarious because I was inside Roblox Battles, and they said, uh, co uh, Code Prime isn't working. <laughs> they were trying to put in the, the Twitter password, Prime. <laughs> I'm like, no, guys. That's... Never mind. <sighs> Anyhow, that was fun. Uh, I'm not going to make this a long one tonight. In fact, I'm probably going to cut it off as soon as I get the uh, the truck kind of like halfway filled. But it's just it's just going to be me talking and doing this. So I, I, I do I do apologize about the kind of lack of content that's coming from this video. But at the same time, I'm talking to you directly, which is what most of my stuff is supposed to be about anyway. I've gone through a significant amount of money, I can tell you that. Oh, I'm still at 9.1 million. A lot of people ask me, Code, you should be a millionaire. And I'm like, I don't know what I would spend the money on. There's, I got some big ticket items that I would do, but I mean, past that, what would I need a million dollars for? You know? So let's, let's do that. Let's ask the question, and you put down in the comments what you would do with one million dollars. And in order to answer correctly, you have to pose the question. 
I would take a million dollars and no, 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 don't do that. Uh, do if I had a million dollars and then do comma and write what we do. Okay. So that's how it's, it's gotta be posed like that in the question. Hold on. Let me buy this last one. Thank you. So in, in the comments down below, you're going to write if I had a million dollars, comma, and then blah, 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 whatever it is. So that's, that's what it is. You, you leave that comment down below and tomorrow when I'm shopping for the next gift, I will go through and read your comments off during the video and, and pick out like a select few and have them in the, in the video. How's that sound? I know there's a lot of you that already wrote first and you didn't even look at the context of the video. There's a lot of you that wrote code. What a great video. And it's like two seconds after it released. So I know you didn't watch the entire thing. It's fine. I don't care. And if there's any commenters down there who are haggling you like you're not first or you're not second, I don't care. Don't, don't diss somebody's dreams just because they want to say first, let them say first. If it's 2023 and you're watching this video for the first time, comment first down below. See that? See how that works? You're good in my book. You're fine. Oh my goodness. Are we, we're at 11 minutes. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it because I'm sleepy and I, I can because that's, that's how I roll. That's. That's the way the rookie axe rolls Royce. Oof, 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 uh oh. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, they're all messed up. Dang it. I was just, I was just gonna do this. Boink. There we go. So we got all the presents all lined up nice and pretty. They look really cool in the moonlight. That's that's pretty cool. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call at the end of the videos. Dude, I sound like one of those uh those airplane uh pilots. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I could work on the uh, what is it, the the Disney's um, Jungle Adventure. <laughs> Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you very soon. Uh oh, where is it? There it is. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.